I am no speaker. You see, I am an introvert, but today I want to assert myself and share my story. In 92, I was born across the seas a blank slate, perhaps with predisposed personality traits. At eight weeks old, I was given up. I don't know why they didn't want me, but I was blessed with adoption, new parents from a foreign country, Australia, the land of new beginnings. Life was looking good. I started out filled with hopes and dreams, just like every child should. Then came school and kids were cruel. Because of my color, I was different and different was bad. The emotional pain may have been the cause of my inner retreat, away from the names and the teacher who believed that the dreams of a dark girl could never be achieved. I worked hard to mask these outward flaws that condemned me to be inferior, always wondering why they couldn't see. I am more than my exterior. My father was kind to everyone, except my mother and I. Emotional abuse left no scars outside, but inside I wanted to die. I have learned that depression is not weakness, but it takes strength to go on when the future seems empty and dark and you can't find a place to belong. Cancer took my mother when I was 16, and part of me died that day. There was nothing in the world that could take the pain away. I have learned that grief does not heal with time, but like a tidal wave, it overtakes you, each surge of memory breaking your heart just a little bit more in its wake. But even tsunamis have an end, so I ride every wave as it comes, knowing that this too shall pass, and I can rest while waiting for the next one. I have learned that the most beautiful stories can come from the depths of despair. Stories of strength, love and kindness, these stories were meant to be shared. In anonymity I wrote my poetry and envied those who had the ability to share their conceptions through spoken word, to stand up here and be heard, to put their name to their verse unashamed and to leave the audience stirred. So no, I'm not a speaker, but today I'm making a start by standing up here before you and sharing these things from my heart. Thank you. Yeah.